about GCSE maths papers. Did you know that there's 86,400 seconds in one day? That times by seven equals a week. So 560,000 plus 42,000 equals 604,800 four, seconds in one week. Can you do a GCSE? Because I can do a GCSE. So encourage your ch children to try one of them. 7 P's plus 11 Q's plus 5 P's minus 6 Q's. What on earth is that? If P stood for dolphins and Q stood for cricket bats, then it wouldn't make any sense to add seven dolphins to eleven cricket bats because they're entirely different things. If a five, six, seven, eight, and nine-year-old would try a JC essay, go like this. Straight away, the five-year-old would see it's too hard on the first question. Six-year-old would get past a few, then he'd see it's too hard. Then a seven-year-old would get up to a question about algebra, then he'd, then he'd just get stuck. Then the eight-year-old would get past it, and another one just comes up. Then when he's nine, he gets through it. And when he finds out he gets an E, he's, he's really proud of himself. Did you know I got the same grade as my cousin Becky and my mum's friend Amber? <laughs> the grade I got was an A, and I got 52 questions correct. Did you know that there's 31,536,000 seconds in one year? I could count 100 in nursery and I could count the 10 beforehand, just using some toys. Who in this room has done the GCSE? What was your grade? When I did the GCSE, I felt great. And I worked, tried to work out how many seconds in a week and a year in my head with two or three jottings. All I'm seeing is help your children with their maths and deep to me to get a passing grade for GCSE by year four. Thank you.